Hi guys, this is Melvin and today I am going to be showing you how to integrate a classic problem that you're probably going to see in test or in your book in different shapes or forms. Um, but this is the basic integration of ln of x. Uh, so in order to do this we need to pull a little trick so that we can integrate this by parts. Um, and what we do is we rewrite this integral as the following. We say that this is the same thing as saying 1 times ln of x dx. We're not changing anything, we're just multiplying a 1 in there. Uh, and we're going to um, use the formula here that you're going to find in your book. You see here in the blue, uh, you can uh, refer to this in your book as well. So let's rewrite the integral again so that we can get it in the same form as our, as our function here. So it's the integral of ln of x times 1 dx. And what we're going to do is basically when you're integrating by parts, you're going to take the derivative of one function and you're going to integrate another function. In this case, the, the function that we're going to be taking the derivative of is the ln of x. So I'm going to put this in red. This is going to be ln of x. And the one we're going to be um, integrating is going to be 1. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So this is going to equal to, in other words, what I'm trying to say is this is going to be f of x. And 1 is going to be g of x or g prime of x. Okay? So we're just going to simply look at the formula and figure out what is it that we need to put in here. So the formula tells us the first term is f of x, which in this case is ln of x. g of x is the integral of g prime of x. So the integral of 1 dx is just x. Minus the integral of g of x. We already found what g of x is, right? Which is the integral of g prime of x. So this is the integral of x times f prime of x. And as you should know, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. So we're going to multiply this by 1 over x dx. Okay? Um, we bring this down here a little bit and we rewrite it. Um, bring the x to the front, x ln of x minus the integral of x over x dx. And when we integrate dx, that is just x. Um, this is a problem that you are probably going to see in your homeworks and um, in maybe even in your tests. Um, this is a very um, classic problem, so try to understand it. Also, you can use the u, du, v, and dv method, but I find it easier that if you just take one function to be f of x and the other function to be g prime of x, I'm sorry, I meant to do this one in red. So if you take one function to be f of x and the other one to be g prime of x and you simply follow um, this formula here, then you should be in good shape and you shouldn't have to do any substitution. Um, that was it.